Welcome to this screencast where we'll get started with the HPE storage array exporter for Prometheus on Kubernetes. My name is Michael Matson. I'm a tech marketing engineer with Hula Packet Enterprise. First, I want to give an introduction to Prometheus. So Prometheus is a time series database, and it basically retrieves metrics from uh, infrastructure uh, and applications. It also provides an interface for uh, users to query that database. And the normal mechanism is that it pulls metrics from something called an exporter uh, or a job. And it also has the ability to uh, use the push gateway for short-lived jobs that just uh, runs for a short period of time and outputs its metrics on, upon completion. It also has the ability to discover targets uh, dynamically on Kubernetes. Uh, either by using labels or uh, they're also configurable uh, through the file interface. Normally, you will uh, query the uh, database through the Prometheus web UI, but you can also use uh, API clients and uh, also use Grafana, which we're going to use in this example. There's also an al alert manager. We're not going to touch on that in this particular demo because I'm going to use uh, Grafana for the alerting functions, but it has multiple different outputs and you can use very complex query languages uh, to set up your alerts. This demo is focused on the uh, HPE storage array exporter for Prometheus, which allows you to gather metrics from your HPE Electras, Nimbles, and Primeras in your infrastructure. We'll also use the HPE CSI info metrics provider that will uh, allow you to uh, gather metrics from your backend array and your persistent volume claims running on your Kubernetes cluster. The data gathered from the different backends, it looks very similar, but it has some nuances. So the uh, HPE Electra 9000, Primera, and 3PAR have one set of metrics, and the HPE Electra 6000 and Nimble Storage gather a different set of metrics. But at the end of the day, we have all the uh, storage uh, accounting and space accounting for both uh, snapshots, free space, and use space to be able to uh, build uh, graphs and alerting based on that data. There's also very detailed volume performance metrics. Uh, but at the end of the day, we want to be able to gather the read and write IOPS, the read and write throughput, and the read and write latency from the respective backends. In this demo, we're going to use the HPE CSI info metrics provider for Prometheus as well. So assume that we have a Kubernetes cluster installed, the HPE CSI driver is installed, and we also have a bunch of different uh, HPE storage backends. We have a couple of workloads running uh, that uses persistent volume claims so we can gather the metrics. On the cluster, we will deploy the HPE CSI info metrics provider, and we will install the HPE storage array exporter for each of our individual backends. The HPE CSI info metrics provider will give us uh, information about the backend volumes, how they relate to the Kubernetes uh, specific uh, labels, right? So you will see which, uh, what the persistent volume name is, the persistent volume claim, and also which namespace you can find the persistent volume claim, and also which storage class a particular volume has been provisioned from. And that will allow you to uh, build an aggregated view of uh, that correlates with what is that running on the cluster and what you have on your backend. In this demo, we'll also deploy Prometheus and Grafana from scratch to kind of give you a comprehensive uh, walkthrough on how to get started uh, with all these different components. I'm switching over to my terminal and I'm just going to show what we got running here. So this is a fairly standard Kubernetes cluster. Uh, I have a workload running that generates IO. Uh, I also have the HPE CSI driver already installed, so we're not going to go through those steps. I'm also connected to uh, a few uh, Helm repositories, and we are going to create a uh, new namespace where we're going to install Grafana and Prometheus. I have a set of values files for that are kind of pre-configured uh, all the different components, uh, such as uh, Prometheus has its own values file, Grafana has its own values files, and we also have for each of the exporter for each of the backends, they also have a separate uh, values file. So we're going to start by installing Prometheus. I also have a list of systems uh, in a simple text file here, and these kind of refer to uh, the different backend host names that I have. So I have three Nimbles and one Primera in my uh, environment. 
And they also need a secret. Uh, that secret is very similar to the HPE CSI driver for Kubernetes secret. It just have the backend IP address, the username and password and such, right? And for deploying each of these backends, RA exporters, I've just write a simple script uh, that will go through the list of systems. It will install the Helm chart for each of the HP RA exporters and the, the particular version we're using and what namespace we want to drop it in and use that exporter uh, configuration file. The configuration file com contains a reference to which secret we want to use and uh, other information that needs to be filled out. Once the exporters are installed, we also want to install the uh, HP CSI InfoMetrics provider and you will install that in the HP storage namespace as well. And it also has a specific uh, configuration file associated with it. At this point, we should be able to visit the Prometheus web UI. Uh, we can type HPE in the um, query box, and we should be able to uh, see some metrics being uh, gathered by Prometheus. And switching to the graph view, it's a little bit easier to see what we're getting here. But at the end of the day, uh, here we see the, through, the read throughput of a bunch of nimble volumes and we can also see that each specific metric has a very rich list of uh, labels that are associated with it. We can see which, uh, which array it's uh, running on. Uh, you can also see which pool the uh, volume is running in and uh, also the volume name, obviously. And also the, uh, the PVC name is the volume underscore name that we can see in the label list there. But we're mainly going to use Grafana to visualize the data in this demo. So let's uh, go back to the terminal and install Grafana. Once Grafana is installed, you kind of need to use a command to scrape out the password. And I've done that uh, from a different terminal window. But once you've done that, you can switch over to the Grafana UI, uh, input the admin username and the password that we just retrieved. The first step uh, when we log into Grafana is that we need to connect to the Prometheus database. And we do that by connecting to a data source. We select Prometheus. We can give it a name if we want to, but I'm just going to keep the default. And then we give the endpoint of the uh, Helm chart that we just deployed with Prometheus, which is my-prometheus-server. We click Save and Test, and we can see that the data source is working. It's been updated. And next, I want to configure a notification channel because I want to retrieve emails on all my alerts. So let's uh, give the notification channel a name. And uh, we also need to uh, give uh, an email address or multiple email addresses. I'm also going to configure this as the default uh, notification channel and not skip the test. I'm just going to save it. Next, I'm going to import a panel that I have uh, pre-configured. Uh, so I'm just going to paste that in the uh, in the JSON import JSON window here. And I'm going to load that up. And this is basically a latency monitor of the backend volumes uh, of the of all the volumes running uh, on the Kubernetes cluster, right? So you will be able to see the uh, the read, uh, read and write latency um, from the backend volumes, but you also see the Kubernetes related information in the metric here as well, right? So you see the it's a PVC and the uh, Kubernetes name of the volume and which namespace it, it's run, currently running in. If we go in and edit the panel, we will be able to see the detailed queries. So there's one uh, series for the writes and there's one series for the reads. We're also going to inspect the alert. So the alert is going to kick off once the uh, latency goes over uh, 100 milliseconds. And then I'm going to go back and configure to make sure that the um, alert becomes active. And once the alert has become active, I'm going to ramp up my workload and uh, put some pressure on the system and see if I can induce a latency spike and receive a notification. Switching back to my terminal, uh, I'm going to scale my Primera workload, add more replicas. And, and this workload is running IOZone uh, repeatedly uh, on the back end volume. So we will probably see uh, as this workload will scale up, we'll see uh, additional latency uh, on the back end.
I'm going to speed up this part of the demo. And we can see that once the heart turns green, uh, we get an event that the uh, alert is working, the queries are being run against the database. And as more latency gets induced, we get a uh, alert pending by the heart turning yellow. And we can see the event in the graph there. It does go back to normal again, so we don't get an alert. Uh, we'll, we'll wait for another spike. There we go, it's now pending. And if it stays in that state for the allotted time, we will be able to see that the alert uh, hits and we get a, a broken heart and uh, the uh, event is a red uh, marker in the graph. We can also see what particular metrics are being hit uh, in, the, uh, in the graph here, uh, what particular volume, what namespace it's in, which backend system the volume is running on. You should at this point receive a notification uh, by email and you will see what uh, metrics that cross the threshold. You also get a image uh, that has been rendered from the dashboard attached to the email, and you will be able to view your alert rules or go to the alerts page to manage the alert itself. And this concludes this demo. Uh, this has been a very simple example and a very simple graph on how to get started with the uh, HPE Storage Array Exporter and the HPE CSI Info Metrics Provider for Kubernetes and uh, how to monitor your workloads and set up alerts with Grafana. To learn more about these technologies, visit hb.com slash storage slash containers. And I hope to see you soon. Take care.